This is a video I have been for sure avoiding to make. What is wrong with the Miami Heat? Much more coming right after this. <laughs> My name is Kevin Barral from the KO Podcast. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on all our social medias, which include Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Discord server linked below. Join it. It's completely free. And follow us on our Twitch channel as well. All right. Let's get to the point of the video. The Miami Heat. I'm mad. I am very mad right now. Um, And I literally know what the thumbnail is going to be. It's literally going to be this. That's going to be the thumbnail, just a lot bigger. I went on a rant. I'm going to rant because I'm a Heat fan. I know a lot of people who are Heat fans, and they are mad right now, like really, really mad. And let's just go and take a little bit of a um, look at what happened last season. Eastern Conference champs, fourth in the divi- fifth in the fifth seeded in the Eastern Conference, made the finals, very close to beating the Lakers if they had Bam and, Go- and um, Goron. They would have beat them, I'm pretty sure. And um, this season, let's just take a look. Things to know for this. You know? They're currently 7-14, and 14, 13th in the East, also known as you're one of the bottom seeds in the league. And you're one of the worst teams in the league. And he do not have a first-round pick that is, in fact, owned by the OKC Thunder. Okay. Okay. Now, there's no excuse for some of these games that I'm going to go into right now. Washington, you should have beat them. Charlotte, you should have beat them. Detroit, you should have beat them. I know you split with them, but you should have beat them. Milwaukee, good things. Philly, I don't even blame that one on you. Brooklyn, same thing. I don't blame it on you. But there's some games you should have won, especially some against the garbage teams, against the really, really bad teams in the East. And then you have, and then you have the games where you just choked. You, you literally choked. And those games are the Charlotte Hornet game. The last two games, you've gone back to back else. Charlotte Hornets, you choked. The Clippers game, you literally choked. And then yesterday's game, it's the it's it's worse than what the Atlanta Falcons have done all year long last season and in the Super Bowl. You literally choked. That's how bad it is. But it's okay. Because what should the Miami Heat do? What should the Heat do? And they, they should make a trade right now. Now, there's some options. This was an Instagram post that I made of options. What should the Heat do? Should they make a trade, do nothing, or get your thing together and start playing like the Heat fans remember? Now, if I had to choose one, it's a not choice. It's make a trade right now. And should a trade best, the best options. Victor Oladipo, DeMar DeRozan, JJ Redick, LaMarcus Aldridge, and then you have PJ Tucker. Now, I did put Jay Crowder there because I miss Jay Crowder. I really do. Um, and then you look at this and, and you tell yourself, what mistakes have I done? What what mistakes did Pat Riley make? Oh, let's let's take a look. Myers Leonard. I love Myers Leonard. But man, you gave him a $20 million contract for two seasons, which you could have given Jay Crowder. You literally could have given Jay Crowder the same amount of money for maybe even more years if you really, really wanted him. You didn't care. You give the guy who was like clapping the whole time saying, let's go heat, let's go heat on your team. He didn't even start in the playoffs. He didn't play at all in the playoffs. He barely played. He played against the, the Lakers. That that was it, I'm pretty sure. Like a game against the Pacers. <sighs> okay. who's the, the leader in points is Bam. He's having a great season. Tyler's having a pretty good season. Duncan Robinson's having a decent season. Jimmy, I don't even blame him. He's been out for like more than half the season at this point. Goron, same thing. Um, Iggy, he's pretty, pretty good. But now we're going to enter the guy I really, really want to enter. And he's barely known in the NBA at this point. Kelly Olenek. Kelly Olenek, what are you doing? If I don't see a trade involving Olenek or none, we're not making the playoffs. We're literally not making the playoffs. It's still early in the season. It's the second half of the season hasn't even been, the second half schedule hasn't even been shown. There's still a chance that he can make the playoffs at this point, not even a fourth seed, probably a fifth or sixth seed. And now I do understand the mentality, but man, this team is hitting different. You could look at Twitter, Twitter fans on, of the Miami Heat. They're saying this season hasn't been the same as the last one. Last season was probably the most fun season I've ever watched the Miami Heat play basketball. And besides the big three, 
this is a good team, folks. I mean, they're not they're just not playing like it. They're not playing like a good team. And that's all I could really say on the Miami Heat, man. They're not playing good. Um, what do they have to do? I mean, you gotta make a trade right now. You have to make it in this next week or two weeks. You need to make a deal to to truly put yourself in contention and add a guy. Now, Bradley Beal's probably highly like highly likely not gonna happen at this point. So go after Victor Oladipo. A guy I would love to have on this team is DeMar DeRozan. Go after DeMar DeRozan. Bring some power to this team. Get DeMar. DeMar is a good player. Last season, the Heat were one of the best three-point shooting teams in the league. Now they're one of the worst. I think they're 25th. Um, do I blame it on this team? Yeah, I do. Because Duncan Robinson, I mean, you really can't blame it on, on them at this point. Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson are just getting targeted, man. That's what happened in the playoffs. And it's pretty much maybe a reason why we lost in the finals besides the plantar fascia with uh, Goran Dragic and I think a neck, the back injury of Bam Adebayo. I still have hope for this Miami Heat team. I love the Heat. I'm always going to stay loyal, but it's just a thing where I just want to rant a bit and I wanted to throw it out here to see my opinion on the Miami Heat. Bradley, Avery Bradley, that was a pretty good signing. Hasn't worked out as of right now. He's been injured. The only good thing about these deals that the Miami Heat made is they could decline the team option next season. Same thing with Iguodala, even though Oh, I think he's on the he's on the first he's on the first year of his new extension was a two year fifteen million dollar extension with a team option after the first year. They'll most likely decline that and probably decline Goron. They'll probably decline Myers. Same thing with Aver. I'm expecting them to decline all of those. Maybe not Dragic, but that's a big contract you're giving Goron. Um, besides that, I mean, the only thing I could really see them do is just decline their options and give them less money so they could bring in another big free agent. Victor Oladipo, I think, is free agent after this season same thing with demar andre drummond i don't see that he bringing in a guy like andre they don't need a center but they do need a power forward and marvin bagley would be a nice fit john collins i'm hearing i like all these players and man the heat just have to get things going if we don't if we don't uh, you're starting to remind me of the atlanta falcons man just choking and choking and choking you've choked three games in which you could have won and you're getting blown out by horrible teams too let's not keep that let's not let's not miss that you're getting blown out the here are getting absolutely blown out by teams this season i love the miami heat but man y'all are playing like trash y'all are choking all right i'm gonna end it here i've been raining for seven minutes just wanted to pretty much just voice my opinion you'll be seeing this on saturday i recorded this on recording this on thursday so at this point we'll see All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you guys like and subscribe to the channel. I'm not, by the way, I'm not the kind of guy who just screams and screams and rants. That's only for games in mid game. I do do that, <laughs> which is kind of funny sometimes, but not. It ain't. It ain't funny. But yeah, uh, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on our social medias, including Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Twitch, and Discord. Thank you guys, and um, peace out. Go heat.